Good morning, everyone. So we're doing pancakes today. We've got just like a pancake shaker. Lily made pancakes. They look very yummy. I think they've got chocolate in them, so I'm very excited for these pancakes. And oh, oh, oh. Lily, what do you have to say about the pancakes? As you can see, she's super excited. All right, let's get into them. Checking in on Ozzy. Ozzy's just vibing. morning they're just camping at Queenscliff and so I'm gonna because Finn's working pretty much all day I'm gonna go spend the day there I'm just getting ready and packing right now because I'm gonna leave in a bit should be exciting I've had to get a massive bag of my own stuff and of their stuff because I'm going from like 10 in the morning to like 10 at night and um, so I need to be able to like have fun and entertain myself. And I've just been asked to bring a bunch of their stuff as well. And also, Ozzy's staying the night with them at the caravan park. So it's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go do that. And the next clip you see, I'll probably be there. So I just went to the drive through and got a coffee because I haven't had a latte this morning. We just dropped Finn off in town and we're just driving to Queenscliff to go and see mum and dad and yeah that's that really so we went to the beach um and we saw a stingray actually we were in a little paddling pool and that I was like just it was like a rock big rock pool just shallow and I was like oh there's nothing in here so I was swimming in there and I just saw this like stingray glide past and I absolutely Cacked my dax. I thought it was over for me. And then mum went in and just stood next to it and was like, it was swimming past her and she just didn't care. Ozzy's here. We're just all chilling in the van waiting for dad to get home. I just made a caravan iced coffee, which is like the most. Yeah, we're hungry and want snacks. I was limited, I had to ration the ice cubes, so it's like warm coffee. We went out for fish and chips. We didn't give any updates just cause I was trying to enjoy my day. But yeah, we, I, we just had to take Ozzy in like the public shower. I had to like take him in with me cause he was all sandy. And so we were just in the women's bathroom like with the dog pretending he was like a baby. And we like wrapped him up in the towel and stuff. It was so funny, there's a mum out there. But um, yeah, good day so far. I'll probably, I'll keep you updated, but yeah. So we're just out at the restaurant right now. Um, I've just ordered the Mexican parmi, which I'm very excited for. Ozzy again is with us. Anyway, Ozzy is with us. Um, we just moved table twice because it's really cold. And I got incredibly sunburned, so that's that. But yeah, I'm just gonna, we're gonna eat, and then I am going to, Ozzy's not staying, because mum has appointments tomorrow and she won't be able to take care of him, so Ozzy's coming home with me, and we're gonna drive home later on, probably about 10.30ish, because Finn finishes work at 11, which is about 40 minutes away, so I'm gonna, pick him up from work and yeah Ozzy and I are gonna go see him but we had a massive walk today we went all to the beach I would vlog more but I'm trying to be as inconspicuous as I can because everyone's like looking at me low-key yeah 
So I'll let you know when I'm leaving and I'll like obviously say hi when I'm home. I'm currently studying and I've been studying like just from today already. Like I've properly been like working. Anyways, I'm gonna go study. Look. Golden hour. More like I fing hurt my corneas hour. Just decided. I think I'm gonna make a cake. Finn, okay. Finn, he really likes chocolate mud cake. Like from the mud cakes you buy from like the supermarket. And so I was like, oh, whatever I bake, it has to be something that Finn likes. And then I was like, let me do my chocolate cake recipe. But I'm gonna try as best as I can to like let you know how I do it and how I make it and all that jazz. So, I'm gonna make a mini mud cake. This is a two to three person mud cake. And you start by separating the two eggs. So this part takes a fair amount of willpower. We're gonna do a quarter of a cup of oil, whatever oil, I don't care. A quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of milk. We still haven't added our egg whites. We'll get that in a minute. This is the part that most people are like, what is going on? But it makes sense. So we do two thirds of a cup of sugar. I'm just using raw sugar, but you can use pasta, granulated, whatever. The type of sugar doesn't matter because it's getting melted. So we do two quarters cup of sugar and one quarter of a cup of just regular water. And then we stir that till the sugar's dissolved and then we whisk it in. And we do one cup of flour and sieve it in. A quarter cup of baking powder and sieve it in. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder, which we just use to make it extra, super extra fluffy. And then once that's all in, go ahead and really gently mix in the egg white. You can fold it if you want to be super careful. I'm going to pop them on a tray just for easier. I'll show you when they're done and I'll let you know how long they've been in for. But yeah, that's that. I just realized now might be a really good time as well to make the frosting. It's like a buttercream kind of frosting. We take 150 grams of butter. Does that seem about right? This is a third of a 500 gram block. So just get a 500 gram block and or do the math, your choice. And so we just chuck all of that melted butter into there. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of cocoa powder again. Whisk it into the butter. And then we're gonna put, I would say start off with like half to two thirds of a cup. And then you need to put it straight in the, free, in the um, fridge or the freezer. Because you've melted the butter and this is a similar trick that people use with making black and red buttercream is that you make the buttercream, add the colouring, melt it and it becomes a lot darker and then when you refreeze it, it keeps that colour. So instead of making white buttercream and then adding the brown and it being like a, a milk chocolatey kind of colour, it's now this really decadent, rich looking dark chocolate colour and that's how you do it. So you're welcome for that tip. Okay, so it's way later now, but I went ahead and 
frosted just really roughly frosted the cake. I know I've got this piece going on right here, but for some reason I kind of dig it. But anyways, I'm going to place some strawberries into the Okay, this is what I ended up with right here. But yeah, that's the cake. Um, and I might add a little clip in after this if I can, if I remember of us eating it and him trying it, let you know what he thought of it. But other than that, um, thank you so much for watching. Have a especially good evening or morning or day. Um, as always, comment down below what you want to see more of or what you want to see me try or do. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't like it, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a post and it's very easy to because I don't do it often. And yeah, have an awesome rest of the day.